The shear lags are back. Okay, so the way you use the shear lag is you take your material that you're going to be attaching to your substrate, you drill a hole slightly larger than the actual shear lag. Then you place the material to be attached on the substrate, drill a quarter inch hole, So you want to take a half inch socket and then set the shear lag into the pre-drilled hole, drive it down, and boom, it snaps right off. And of course, I had to do this in slow motion because I got to show you how cool this looks. Okay, now I'm going to show you what happens if you have a hole that is a little too big and if the shear lag ends up basically spinning out and not snapping off. So I'm gonna drive this into the substrate and it's not going to snap off. Well, you should be able to take this right back out with the socket. And as you take this back out, you wanna take a quarter inch wooden dowel. Now you can do this with toothpicks as well, but the wooden dowel works just as fine. Knock it down in there, maybe pull it up slightly and then snip it off. Then you wanna take a hammer, tap it down, and then you can take your shear lag and repeat the process of driving it back into the substrate and through the material. And it will snap off just as it's designed to do so. There you go. So the nice thing about the shear lag is you don't have to use it to attach cladding to a wood surface. You can actually use it just as a decorative feature like I did on these projects here. This is a desk that I made out of a reclaimed box and used the shear lags as decoration. Now if you have any questions about how to use the shear lag, you can always reach out to me right here on YouTube. Just throw something down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. You can also reach me on my email which is rogueartist at artfullyrogue.com. You can hit me on my website and hit the contact form and I will then get back in touch with you there as well. On Etsy, you can go to the message board and you can message me there. It's a fairly simple fastener. Now, the one question that I have had is if it goes in, how do you take it out? The easiest way to take them out is just like this. Take a cutoff wheel and then run it right across the dome portion of the shear lag, just like this. And then you wanna take a flathead screwdriver and go ahead and turn it out like you would any flathead screw. Now, if you don't have a flathead screwdriver that works, you can always cut across, use a Phillips screw, and that works just as well. They come out just as easy as they go in. Hey, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. It is greatly appreciated. Now, I'm gonna put a link in the description that'll take you over to my website, artfullyrogue.com, where you can actually purchase the shear lags. Now, I'm curious, how are you gonna use them in a project? Go ahead and email me or go over to my Instagram page or my Artfully Rogue Facebook page and show me some pictures. I'm really curious what people will do with these things. See you in the next video.